Hey, it's me, Jimmy D, and we're here to talk to you about Marvel, Star Wars, and uh, Disney, Pixar, all that stuff. But this video is going to be focused on Marvel. The other two videos are on the channel, so make sure you go check those out. So, Marvel, they've done a shit ton of releases tonight. So, basically what has happened, for because we're going to be rambling off a yes. lot. Disney had their big kind of conference, you yes. know, hey, what to look forward to in the future. Yes. They did at the same time. John watched that. I watched the Game Awards instead. I'm like, eh, nothing's going to happen. There ain't going to be anything big that's going to get dropped. They dropped <laughs> nukes on this bitch. All right, so first of all, <laughs> we got a new trailer for WandaVision. Looks really interesting. I'm still intrigued, and I'm excited for WandaVision. That didn't change. No, no. I mean, it's... It, it, it's fleshing more out yeah because I'm, I'm more okay where are you going with this yeah because you know that it's going to somehow relate to the multiverse of madness well so it's going to be one arc so you, for, it's going to be wandavision spider-man 3 and then uh doctor strange 2 um it's one so multiverse they, arc did they so they switch spider-man with doctor strange i believe so I believe Spider Man's coming out first because Spider Doctor Strange is going to be in Spider Man three. Well, I I know that, but I figure they would set up the multiverse theory like they would they would inter, they would sprinkle it with Wanda. They would just crack the fucking can open with yeah. Doctor Strange, and now that the can is open, you can kind of you know. I I believe Spider Man's coming out next year, Christmas. Okay. Did they um, have to with all the fucking guests they've been announced? We'll get to that. Yeah. <laughs> and surprisingly, they didn't announce any of that shit. Um, we got a first look and a release date for Falcon and Winter Soldier. Which I'm okay, really intrigued. That. So I was because I watched I was watching Double Toasted stream mm -hmm. before I jumped onto here. And it was it had me really interested. I'm like, okay, this is cool. Then they get to the scene where Anthony Mackie is flying through the fucking canyon and the explosive. And it's like, all right, y'all got some money. Y'all got some damn good money. <laughs> yeah. And then the jokes of him and uh, Winter Soldier just walking down the road and Mackie's like just fucking messing with Winter Soldier. The fact that they're reintroducing Zemo. Yes. And from what it supposedly said, he's actually going to wear a version of his costume. And supposedly, they didn't announce it, but supposedly... You have uh, Pew from Black Widow going mm -hmm. to appear in Falcon and Winter Soldier. She's also appearing in Hawkeye. Okay. Um, I think it's just going to be a cameo. Yeah. I, I don't expect too much from it, but um, it is interesting. No, I, I expect the main villain for this one, I think, to be Zemo. Yeah. No, of, of, of course. Um, we got a first look at Loki. Now, this this i am confused as all hell but intrigued just insert the leo you had my attention <laughs> now you have my curiosity <laughs> because loki, because it, loki just literally feels like uh, okay we, we, it's like uh, he's dead but he's not dead but it, it's like Owen Wilson. it's like someone took a it's like someone took the reject scripts from like the what if scenarios and was like, but what if we just threw Loki into it? Well, you have Loki going through different historical events because he's doing with the time yeah. organization. I forget that act. It's the TV, um, the, the TVA um, that Owen Wilson yeah. works for. First of all, Owen Wilson in anything <laughs> is quality. Um it's going to be amazing because it's just going to be everybody memeing. Oh, wow, Mr. Loki. Oh, wow. Well, here's the thing. Like, I was surprised. I was honestly surprised by... He was only in one scene in the trailer. First look, whatever the fuck it is. Um, but that one scene, like, it didn't... He didn't. He wasn't over the top Owen Wilson. He No. It, it was very so, well done. It was very like you could see his little joke of like you'll you'll learn and um yeah. but it was really well done um I'm very curious I am extremely interested because I have no idea what the hell that one even and is that got a May release date so yeah there's not going to be one week on Disney Plus without new content 
anymore. The, think about it. They kind of have to because Disney Disney was hitting this point to where it's like, okay, we signed up for Disney Plus because y'all were promising us this Marvel, yeah. this Star Wars, and y'all really haven't delivered it. You know. All right. So Hawkeye, they did confirm Haley Steinfeld as Kate Bishop, but we knew because we saw the goddamn we set photos. We saw her costume. Like, duh. So what I'm going to be very interested is because there's a rumor going around because it's not really confirmed that Hawkeye might be losing his hearing. Yes. So he, which he is actually very has he has hearing aids in the set photos. Yes. So it's very interesting of how they're going to address that. Plus, are they going to touch Ronan? Because you can't just you can't pretty easily have introduced Ronan in Endgame and yeah. just act like nah, that never happened. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I, to be honest, before the Loki trailer came out, Hawkeye was my, or, and the first look at Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I was still going to watch them. We still going to cover them episode reviews on this channel. But my, after WandaVision, my most anticipated Disney plus Marvel show was the Hawkeye show because that comic run that they're doing is so fantastic it's great. it is fantastic it's one oh, of my great. favorite comic book arcs it it's it it grounded hawkeye and it made people realize oh yeah this is why he's good yeah so because he's just yes he's not he's not i'm so sick and tired of what are you gonna do it's just a dude with a bow and arrow no, he's more than that. He's the guy who got personally trained and sparred with Captain America. Mm -hmm. He's a super, he's a high class, high intelligence super spy. Yes. Um, you know, at the end of the day, and he's also a dude who can barely afford rent. Yes. <laughs> um, but I'm really interested in that show and I honestly cannot wait. Huh? Haley Steinfeld is literally the perfect casting choice for kate bishop hands down i'm gonna be very interested to see how they kind of draw her in like okay what is the reasoning you know clint's taking it up because yeah. <laughs> is it kind of like look kid <laughs> i'm at the end of my ropes <laughs> you know i'm kind of fucking crazy <laughs> yeah um they did show us a sneak peek at the what if animated series it it looks interesting but with all the Jeffrey other... Wright is a fucking watcher, and I was happy. <laughs> yes, but with all the other series they have, I'm sorry, but I kind of got to put the what if down on the list. So the what if is going to be very interesting because it's going. I feel like the with the what if, I feel like with the what if series, there's going to be certain episodes that are really fucking yeah. good, and a lot of them are just. It's an interesting idea, but I don't like. I think it sounds good on paper, but the actual execution is just, okay, I didn't need this. Exactly. Um, now, these are, they announced three new series coming out. Uh, they have Ironheart, which is about Riri Williams. But this is the one I'm not excited about. Because to be honest, I did not like Ironheart in the comics. Um, I thought it was kind of a... I don't even know. I don't even know who Ironheart uh, is. Replaces Iron Man. Oh. I assumed they would okay. do a... If they were going to replace Iron Man, I figured they were going to hire the girl they hired originally to play Stark's daughter um, as the older version, the girl from 13 Reasons Why. Um, mm -hmm. I thought they were going to have her take up the mantle. Um, or maybe War Machine. Well, there's a War Machine show coming out called Armor Wars, starring Don Cheadle. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I just, gonna I just love Don Cheadle. <laughs> and it literally says it examines one of Tony Stark's biggest fears: everybody having a suit of armor. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say alcoholism, <laughs> narcissism, <laughs> abandonment. <laughs> well, um, yes. Um, but, like, that that is a war machine show about just people getting different suits and everything. Sounds fantastic. And I'm just really interested in I seeing guess. where they go. 
Um, what was the third show they introduced? Secret Invasion, starring Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury, and Ben Mendelsohn as the Scroll shapeshifter Talos. I feel like Secret Invasion should be a movie, not a t- TV series. That's my issue. I don't. I wouldn't mind like a f- just call it Fury, and it introduce Secret Invasion. Yeah. And then it goes to the movie. I'm not sure how I feel with Secret Invasion being its own just show. It's too yeah. big of an of a Marvel story. And I feel like you're going to stretch out and pad a lot of it. Yeah, I'm. I'm cur- I'm cautious with that one. A Here's Samuel my L. Jackson show. Fantastic. Oh <laughs> God, yeah. Here's my question: Is it rated R? Any info on? <laughs> She Hulk, Moon Knight, and Miss Marvel. They announced they finally confirmed the the actors and actresses for those shows. Um, they okay. they um, they announced that Tatiana Maslany will I probably butchered that mm-hmm. will play She Hulk. Um, they also said that Mark mm-hmm. Ruffalo is going to be Bruce Banner in the show. He's going to appear. okay. Um, and then you have Miss Marvel. She, they announced that she is going to appear in Captain Marvel 2 as well. Okay. Have they did they, they confirm her casting? Actor? Yes, they had they've yeah. already they had already confirmed her actor. Well, they already confirmed it, but they like official press. Yes, official press. And then here's, here's here's the thing. Did they confirm Oscar Isaac for Moon Knight? Um I because that's like that's I, the one i'm per, i mean that's basically confirmed but yeah I, in the article i have up that has all the list it, it mm-hmm. does not con, they From... mention moonlight but they did not confirm that it's oscar uh, oscar isaac. isaac um but i mean he's moon Knight. it's basically oscar isaac yeah I mean, um, there's there's too many people reporting it for it not to basically be Oscar Isaac. Yes. Which, the dude's busy. Now, let me talk to you. There's one more Disney Plus thing before we get to the movies. Okay. Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. Directed by James <sighs> Gunn. It's going to be great. It's I'm just, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I don't. You don't even have to tell. Yes, yes, yes. They are going to do a short, a couple of short f- films uh, called "I Am Groot." Um, but to be honest, I don't care. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. I've never been. A, I've never been a Groot fan. I like Rocket better than Groot. I, I love Rocket better than Groot. I like I like Drax better than Groot because Drax to Drax me is, is hilarious. In. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah. But the Guardians Movies. of the Galaxy Christmas special, that looks 10 out of 10. Right. When, did they give a date for that? Um, that is going to be out holiday of 2022 because oh my God. Uh, the film Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is going to be released in 2023. Okay. Because remember, right. they took James Gunn away from Guardians 3. So then he, they had to push, they For had to move it. They had to move yeah. it. Okay. All right, movies. They confirmed that they will not recast Chadrick Boseman as King T'Challa. No, no. Fantastic. No, hell no. I mean, no. we knew that and was going to happen. Marvel's confirmed they're not. Marvel's confirmed they will not recast him and they will not like digitally alter, you know, holographic him. Exactly. No. Exactly. Good. No, that's it's um, everyone kind of knew it was coming, but it's like you got to officially put it out in a press release. Yeah. Um, they confirmed a third Ant Man in the Wasp movie called Quantum Mania. Okay. 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 Um, I just can, this can is get, the problem. Just, this no, is Michael, my problem this with time. It. This is my problem with it. All right. The, the cast was turning Paul Rudd, Angelina Lilly. Michael That's Douglas fine. and Michelle Pfeiffer. Problem is, they still got Peyton Reed directing it, and I felt like we needed a fresh director for Ant Man and the Wasp because I I love the sequel, Ant Man and the Wasp. 
it's one of my top favorite Marvel movies. But compared to the other movies, the directing is completely different. So here's my thing. The problem with Ant-Man and the Wasp is I feel like it's too small. Scale. There's not really much left. You... Well, no. <laughs> um, I feel like there's not really much left you can do with them. Well, I'm pretty sure this yeah. is going to be them going to the, the city in the quantum realm. Sure. And I I think they're going to kill Michael Douglas. Yeah. Okay. Because I thought they were going to kill him in the last movie. I did too. And they fucking didn't. Okay. So I'm like, I feel like you need that gut punch. Yeah. You know? I'm just happy we get more Wasp because Wasp is one of the founding Avengers in the comics. And she's such well, so a... Tank. Well, so is Ant-Man. Yes. But like the Wasp... The Ant Man got a big role in Endgame, but Wasp was gone. Uh, she was dusted, and I just feel like Wasp needs some more screen time. Um, and it's going to be great because you can finally build on that relationship between them, exactly. you know, for the next big movie event, exactly. Whatever that may be. Um, they did confirm that Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness were tied Madness. both into the upcoming WandaVision and the third Spider-Man movie. Um, and they confirmed that Benedict Cumberbatch's Doctor Strange will appear in the still unnamed Spider-Man sequel. And then the last okay. movie. Let's, let's get the last one because we need to talk about Spider-Man. We cannot fucking talk about Marvel and not talk about Spider-Man. But let's talk about the last one. Also, they confirm that Sam Raimi is still directing the multiverse? Yes. Cool. Last, I'm going to get my Bruce Campbell. I don't care. The last Marvel movie they announced. <clears throat> the Fantastic Four. <laughs> I just saw your soul leave your body for a moment. Yes. Well, so I'm assuming. So okay. So did they get rid of Shang Chi? No. Well, did they push off? Okay, so Shang Chi still. So they've so they've added Fantastic Four. Yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. They have. I'm happy. It's the problem. They have a big fucking hill to climb. They do. <laughs> They've got a broken rope. <laughs> Their gear does not work. And it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and that hill is craggy and on fire. Um, but I believe, I mean, I I trust Marvel handling trust. the Fantastic Four. Yeah, because I, if anybody can get it right, it's, it's going to be Marvel. Because yeah. they're like, y'all have fucked this up so many goddamn times. Well, here's, here's the thing. The bar is so low. <laughs> the bar is so low. You could write that fucking title in pencil and we would be like, all right, it's good. <laughs> just standing ovation. Just just some kid in the is the audio. <laughs> that bar is so low, we just kick it across the field. Just come on. <laughs> um But let's talk about let's go back and talk about Spider-Man. There, right. there was no so, other details about Fantastic Four. So we no. can't even build off of that. We just know Fantastic Four movie, Four. fantastic. That bar is just rolling across the ground at this point. So just jump over it. You good. Right. <laughs> You're good. All right. Spider-Man. Um, okay. <laughs> what the fuck is the Spider-Man movie? <laughs> All right. Like, so, the more and more info that comes out of this, the one thought that comes across my mind is... You know Daredevil's in movie? it, right? Okay, he's... In it, but he's not. No, confirmed. they confirmed. Okay, cool. Again, it was, it was confirmed yeah, a couple days ago. All right, cool. I go back to my first point. What the fuck is this movie? <laughs> I'm like, okay, if you announce one more cameo, I'm going to lose my shit because what is this movie? <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing a live action Spider Verse? Is it a multiverse movie? Like, I'm I'm calling it right now. So you know how the fucking stinger to um. Far From Home with J. Jonah Jameson. Yes. The fucking stinger for this movie is going to be Miles Morales. Yeah. It is. My, d Marvel ain't stupid. It's going to be Miles, Miles Morales and Miles, or Spider-Gwen. Miles has blown the fuck up in popular culture. They would be dumb 
you know why I think Spider Gwen might be in the mix as well? Why? Because they just released a comic book run where Spider Gwen moves to the main MCU continuity. Well, the Marvel I don't think continuity. they'll pull the. I don't, I don't okay. think they'll pull it yet. I understand that. They might I hint think, at it. I don't think they'll. Pull it. They won't pull it. They will definitely pull the Miles card. Oh, hands down. The Miles card is coming. Um, so, but Spider Gwen, if said, Miles comes, Spider Gwen is not far behind. Cool. I go back to my first point. What the fuck is this movie? Okay, so let's break it down. We got. L- let's let's go order of announcements of cameo. Well, it's not even cameos. It's just starring in. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Hollage is outside. Like guys. Hi, this is my movie, remember? <laughs> Fuck you, Tom Holland, at this point. Like, give me my my man, Tobey Maguire. All right? He's the you only one Tony they Maguire. haven't confirmed. You got Tobey Maguire. I mean, he's... You got but, Kirsten Dunn's probably yep. coming back. Emma Stone. You got Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone, Jamie Foxx. You just... Um, Harvey... Uh, Doc Ock. Doc Ock. I'm trying to remember the actor's name. I, I can't think of it. Doc Ock. Um... Charlie Cox is Daredevil. Yes. Which, okay, so you and I threw out. <laughs> we had seven okay, people. Hold on, hold on. You and I threw out the theory because when they first released the synopsis for this um, Spider-Man movie, mm-hmm. before they did all these cameos, it was like it was going to be Peter Parker on the run, but he but he ran into a famous MCU lawyer to kind of be you know it, defending him. And we figured it was and, either going to be She-Hulk or Daredevil. Daredevil. We wanted it to be Daredevil, but we're like, there's no fucking way because, you know, copyright, so it's mm-hmm. going to be She-Hulk. It's fucking Daredevil. And here's the thing. Uh, I saw that there was rumors that Daredevil will also go into the She-Hulk show if it's just for a cameo because they're both New York lawyers. Well, yeah, and that's going to be the thing is it's they'll probably either be like – I think what would be really cool is if they do a counter trial to where Murdoch's defending someone and She-Hulk's also defending someone. So it's like Mur- Matt being fucking Matt Murdoch is yeah. like, okay, he's lying, but I still got to fucking defend my client. And she just is out playing, you know, mm-hmm. Murdoch. Um, so I think it's going to be Murdoch to pretty much He's going to, I think, run into Peter, and he's going to realize this kid's fucking innocent. Yeah, you know, or shit, this kid is Spider Man. And this is but... this is the, this is how they're going to solve it. I'm telling you, this is how they're going to solve it. They're going to have one of the other Spider Men put on t- Tom Holland's outfit, so Tom Holland can stand beside that Spider Man and be like, "Look, it's not me." <laughs> <laughs> no or what's going to happen it's going to be like an avengers endgame thing to where like all the spider-man just show up and it's like wait there's multiple but wait i thought you know peter parker was spider-man but there's multiple spider-man so the you inner, know they're going to... the inner child in me because while i you love know, the batman movies and the superman movies spider-man was the first movie superhero movie that really came out for us you know it's only a matter of time before they announce a cameo by Willem Dafoe. You know it's only a matter of time. If William Dafoe comes, It's only a matter of time. If he is back. Because do you know do you know how many retconish bullshit? I will need a new pair of pants. It's because of the fact that because of the fact that Strange is in it and he can bring a multiverse. He doesn't have to be Toby Maguire's Norman Osborne. Yeah. He can be the ultimate goblin. Yes. Where it's pretty much it's Willem Dafoe who is the goblet. So here, here's here's my thing. They're building the Sinister Six. Uh, yeah, Electro, that's more Doc Ock. Them having to that's more them. Yeah, that's more them having to play by Sony's rules than I think Marvel really wanting to do it. But here's the thing: How is Tom Holland, an unexperienced Spider-Man who identity has just came out, going to defeat the Sinister Six? Two other Spider-Man. So here's what I think is going to happen. I think he's going to be on the run. Yep. Because they're building up Strange as like the next mentor figure, like Iron Man. Yep. Okay. And because this is why I think Doctor Strange is going to come first, because he's going to have to open up the idea and bring general audiences into the idea of multiverses. Yep. And so he's going to send him to to the to multiverse. He's going to send him probably to the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man and to the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, and 
I think Tobey Maguire is going to be kind of like the Spider-Verse Peter Parker, where him and MJ are dating, you know, he's been doing this for 10 years, you know, and he's like, hey, look, everything's great. Yeah, he's like, hey, look, man, everything's great, you know, but there are, like, there is responsibilities to this. And then you can probably send to the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man and like, dude, my girlfriend died in front of me, you know, I saw her old man die in front of me. Like, you know, yes, for as much good as you probably saw, there's a lot of baggage to this, Mm -hmm. you know? And they can also kind of be like a mentor kind of like, you know, like, let me, let me show you a few things. I've been around a block, you know, like. It, it looks fantastic. And I, I just want to throw this idea at you. One of my coworkers, he mentioned it to me. Um, Toby Maguire, right? Because if they mm-hmm. open up this multiverse, right? What if they did a Spider-Man 4 for Toby okay. Maguire? Logan style. But as old man to- uh Spider-Man. Maybe. Like that like to me a R-rated Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire. I don't think they'll ever. I don't think they'll. I don't think they'll ever do that. The Spider Man. But it. I think they'll do. I think they be might fantastic. do like a much older. So, you see, here's the problem with the multiverse thing, because you know you open it up and you a can know of Marvel. worms. You know, like this is going to be the easy way of like, because everyone was like, "How the fuck is Tom Holland and fucking Tom Hardy going to get together as Spider Man and Venom?" Yep fucking multiverse you know they're going to pull the venom thing you know they're going to pull the carnage thing you don't know you you know they're going to want to pull black cat um this movie's being so cluttered that it's like this is going to be cool but it's like (laughs) this turned into a basic okay seed identity on the run film it's not really it anymore because everybody's like, everybody's going to be there. Like, Hey, I want to see this. I want to see daredevil. I want to see this, Mm -hmm. you know? And here's the thing. And if you don't give you, it can't just be a glorified cameo. With some, it can daredevil. I believe it can, but the Spider-Man, Dr. Strange, it can't Dr. Strange and the Spider-Man and Andrew, the girls. Yeah. They can be glorified cameos. Sure. The um, Electro and Doc Ock? No. Sure. I don't you even know. think they could be a glorified cameo. <sighs> My... If they're confirming Doc Ock and Electro well before they confirm the actual they're, Spider-Man... They're, they're the villains they're probably going to have to fight yeah, in the, they're gonna be the, the villains. Multiverse. So, which we don't even know who the villain is going to be in just the movie, yeah. you know? Here's my thing about this. Now that you're opening the multiverse, it's fair game. Yeah. Like, everybody who got canceled can now want to be like, why can't I come back? Yeah. You know? Which I'm fine with, because I want to see Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin in, you know, the the MCU. Now, or even a, a television series. What I heard was Kingpin definitely would probably come back. Uh, Daredevil definitely side people question. Daredevil basically fucking is back. I don't see Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, or Iron Fist coming back from the Netflix shows because one they have that um, uh, is it Olivia Wilde or Emily Blunt? It's one of them. Uh, mm-hmm. They are record they are working with kevin foggy to do a spider woman movie um and she is a a private investigator and that's basically jessica jones so you're not you're but you so you might not get jessica jones but you could i think you could probably still do heroes for hire here you could still do mike colton they're probably not gonna want they're probably not gonna want that Netflix series connected to it. Daredevil, Maybe. they can they can get by because Daredevil was so good. 
<laughs> you could true. You could also here's the thing. You, you could also probably bring in for if you're wanting to do these more adult mature kind of things on Disney Plus, you could bring in the Punisher. It does not have to be I, like it was on Netflix. I, you know? I think I, uh, he it was Kingpin, Daredevil, and Punisher were the three I read that were more than likely would be the ones that to come back daredevil and kingpin definitely because season three of daredevil was fucking phenomenal mm -hmm. i still go back to this day and watch that final fight between uh kingpin and daredevil mm -hmm. it's, it's fucking great yeah it's an amazing fight um it's just dr strange is a major important movie Yes, and I'm happy that Sam Raimi is fucking directing it because you know the script is going to be tight. Yeah, you know it's going to be weird and awesome as fuck, mm -hmm. and you know Bruce Campbell's going to fucking uh, cameo yep. in it, which is just going to be great. <laughs> Spider Man, I'm excited for, but I'm I'm excitedly cautious because it's like it's the starting more to get very people, very cluttered. It's starting to get very. It's like you're having a mini end game, and it's like. Unless you're doing, because you're not, it'd be one thing if you were doing like a Spider Verse movie. Yeah. You're not. You know, Spider Man. You're supposedly 3. doing a, yeah, you're doing Spider Man 3, which originally was pitched as a runaway on the run type movie. Yeah. Um, you know? But uh, that's where we're going to wrap up the Marvel stuff. Let us know in the comments below what you thought of all the series. What is your most anticipated um, show and movie? Let us know in the comments below. Um, our that Star Wars video true. will be out, so make sure you hit that subscribe button to join that. I also stream over on Twitch. Link to those in our amazing Discord where we can talk more about this in the link in the description below. So, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and like always, we will see you in the next one. Later. Later.